Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. All right, welcome back. And, of course, we are bringing you as much news as we can. And joining us now, Commander Lonnie Cavalier. And uh, good to see you, Commander, once again. We appreciate you joining us from Assumption. Thanks, Martin. Thanks for having us. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking over this. Uh, this one involves a traffic stop, drugs, gun law violations. And uh, if you could bring us up to speed on that, we'd appreciate it. Yes, that was on Sunday afternoon. We arrested a Vernell Darset III, 21 years of age, and an Anthony Robertson, 19 years of age, both of Plottenville, Louisiana. They were stopped on Highway 70 uh, near Grand Bayou on a traffic stop. Uh, Follow-up investigation. Uh, deputies seized a quantity, of, uh, a quantity of Ritalin, a quantity of Adderall, marijuana and we seized two handguns one containing a large capacity uh uh, uh drum uh, ammunition drum uh both of those individuals were booked on relative charges and remain incarcerated without bail okay and so let's see as to let's see con deputies conducted a search of the vehicle recovered suspected marijuana multiple doses of adderall multiple doses of Ritalin and two large caliber handguns, Vernell Dorsett III and Keith Anthony Robertson, who you just mentioned, were arrested in book. Uh, as to Vernell Dorsett III, he was charged on counts of possession of Ritalin, four counts, possession of Adderall, possession of marijuana, illegal carrying of weapons in the presence of controlled dangerous substances, driving on roadway lane for traffic. As to Keith Anthony Robertson Jr., he was charged on counts of illegal carrying of weapons in the presence of controlled dangerous substances, possession of Ritalin for counts, possession of Adderall. And uh, they remain incarcerated at this point uh, pending uh, bond hearings. And you have another uh, arrest in, that you want to talk about that was a domestic disturbance, right? Well, we actually have two of them. We have one on Friday, and then we had another one on on uh, Saturday. Okay. I'm sorry, on Sunday, one Friday and one Sunday. Uh, the one on Friday was a Jared Charles Cortez, 35 of Bar Lewis. We received a complaint of a uh, domestic uh, disturbance, and uh, upon arrival, uh, we the deputies determined that that Jared Charles Cortez actually walked over to his father's house. And his father viewed him in the in a in a surveillance camera and walked outside to talk to him. They lived next door to each other, and he ended up uh, st attempting to strangle his father. Jerry Charles Cortez has had a issue before with this this type of activity. Uh, based upon uh, the completion of the investigation, Cortez was booked into the parish jail on one count of domestic abuse battery involving strangulation and one count simple assault. And he remains incarcerated without bail. Okay. And then your next one was, which one did that involve? That was Jared Charles Cortez. That was a domestic. And then the last one, uh, the, the second domestic we had was a Maurice Anthony Babin, who was arrested yesterday afternoon. Uh, again, deputies responded to a domestic disturbance on Robin Street, south of Napoleonville, off of Highway 308. And uh, 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 upon arrival, uh, Maurice Anthony Babin was not there, but he drove back up while, while deputies were conducting that investigation. He was very uh, hostile. And by that time, the deputies had determined that he was wanted out of West Baton Rouge Parish on charges of domestic abuse battery and simple criminal damage to property. He was taken into custody then. And upon completion of the investigation, he was charged in assumption with domestic abuse battery, no liability insurance, and driving under a suspended driver's license. He remains incarcerated 
uh, in the parish jail without bond. All right, y'all. Y'all had a busy weekend, it seems. Yes, we did. Yeah. We did. Uh, all right. Let me ask you a crazy question, uh, if I could, Commander. Does the heat escalate crime? It seems like our domestic is up, Martin, uh, at, at this time of the year, and not just this year. Uh, you know, you, you do see people out partying, and then they get home, and, and you know, they get into a confrontation with, uh, with their domestic partner. Uh, and, and, and that was the case on the, uh, on the one Saturday, on the one, uh, last Friday with Cortez, a little different situation. Uh, we've had some encounters with Cortez before, but yes, the heat does, uh, cause people to consume a little more alcohol and, and, and that does tend to give us some additional issues. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it just seems like all in all people are a little more tense in, in all parishes. Not just talking yes. about Assumption Parish. It seems like every parish we, we talk about, it seems like things are just tenser. And I just thought I would ask that question. But uh, anything uh, anything else happen? Things are otherwise uh, pretty good in Assumption? Uh, we, we did have, a, a, a and, and I want to make sure we mentioned this, we did have another arrest on Thursday involving a lady. Uh, Nicole Renee Nicholas, uh, 32, of Donaldsonville. She was actually employed at our jail facility, but she was employed by a food service uh, corporation, a private food service corporation, preparing meals for the jail. And uh, the warden uh, received information that she was bringing synthetic marijuana into the facility. And subsequent investigation revealed that she was actually having a sexual encounter with an inmate. So she was arrested uh, on Thursday and booked on charges of introducing contraband in a penal institution and improper sexual contact with an inmate. And she remains incarcerated now and she has no bond and her employment has been terminated immediately by the food service company. All right. Once again, Commander Lonnie Cavalier, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks, Martin, for having us. Appreciate right. y'all. We'll see you next time. Thank you. We'll be right back. Weights and Downer. You or someone you know has lost the ability to earn a living because someone put the company interest before their well-being. In times like these, there's one firm who has handled hundreds of catastrophic and lost earning cases. Before you settle fast with a company's attorney, give Weights and Downer a call. 985 876-0870. Weights and Downer. Let us fight for your rights. Check me down to Point Ocean, Thibodeau to Grand Caillou, HTV's part of you. Buy you black down through Dulac, Southland Mall to City Hall will bring the news to you. Raceland St. Charles by your blue, Morgan City and Assumption too, where sugar cane is grown. So much to see on HTV. Stick with us, cause we're your 